Hello, I'm Professor Cohen. This is the Fork Supermodel Racing Review for Saturday the 6th of November 2021. Let's have a look at yesterday's racing then. So this is for Friday uh, the 5th of the 11th. Uh, we had a filter on race at Dundalk on the all-weather 345. We had to go at two horses. Let's grab the chalk. Um, we had to go at Ambitious, which came 9th at 11 to 2. And uh, we also had to go at number four, Diamonds in the Sand, which came eighth at 100 to 30. So they were both pretty well stuffed. Um, but if you look at the, uh, the rerun of that race, uh, you can draw some conclusions from that. Um, uh, basically, these two horses uh, went off too fast. There was another one sort of in the mix as well, which uh, faded as well. And, and this is the classic scenario for, for um, going off too fast, really. Um, they end up out with the washing right at the back um and uh and the the, the favorite came in i think it's about two to one came from well off the pace uh, so basically these two uh set it up for the favorite um uh, these were very good horses and and you'd have to wonder why they went off too fast and they sort of took each other on and burnt out basically uh that's always a possibility um uh you know you you can't uh, uh you know, allow for uh, uh, jockey, uh, jockey uh, ship. Really, uh, you have to sort of just accept the fact that jockeys are going to make uh, uh, their own decisions, and and if it comes out and if it's a total shambles, then uh, you just have to lump it. So that's basically where we were. So we had uh, half a unit on each of those. Uh, we were on uh, ambitious at ten to one, and I think we got. Uh, 3.75 on diamonds in the sand so it, do, it doesn't really matter so we, are, we basically uh, lost a unit on that race uh, so we're down to uh, plus 43, 43 units profit now uh, so uh, that's where we are um, that's the excuses over with uh, we were quite confident on that race actually uh, and ended up getting uh, pretty much zilch out of it so that, that's fair enough anyway so let's uh, move on now and have a look at today's racing right we've written up uh, today's racing then so saturday the 6th of uh, november we've got no filter one races remember filter one is a structural filter and we've got an alternate there at wind county national hunt 115 it's a one mile seven foot on 50 yards four to six year olds novice hurdle qualifier good uh so it's basically two miles um and we've got two to look at really we've got number one uh kato the king which is two to seven favorite uh, and we've got number six, which is Calitra, uh, which, is, um, which is ours. We've, so we've, we've rejected Cato King on a number of grounds, and we're having a go uh, at uh, Calitra. We've managed to get on average on the exchanges 7.6 to 1 on that horse to win, and we've also uh, managed to get um, half the stake uh, on the second place, uh, first and second places, at 1.06 to 1, basically evens. So uh, we've sort of each weighed it in a, in a way, but on the first two places. So uh, so uh, Calyptra then, um, uh, if you if we've had a good look at that horse, uh, it's decent horse. Uh, it ran uh, pretty much in uh, in a, in the same distance uh, when counting before. It's changed trainers, uh, and it had a 200 and odd day layoff before this run, and it's fit as a fiddle. And it uh, was uh, burning the juice early on and didn't capitulate particularly and it came second in the end. But it, it, it's a very nice horse. It's, it fulfills the criteria and the, the odds makers don't seem to uh, uh, have allowed us to basically uh, pinch a second place for evens and uh, have a go at the win at, at over 7 to 1, 7.6 to 1, which is good news for us. Um, and this uh, Cato the King. Uh, two to seven favourite, everybody will be all over it, but we've had a good look at that horse and it's previously run at Chepstow in a two mile, uh, good, and if you watch that race you'll notice that the, when it, uh, it, it's obviously previously won three bumpers and it, this horse is like, uh, it, it, as these tended to one uh, uh, odds on, it's, it's not had any real tests, uh, uh, Chepstow the last run uh, it, it started to get a little bit of a test and as soon as it was challenged it started to hang and hanging in racing uh, basically means that the horse was sort of turning its head to one side and sort of running sideways a little bit that's a good sign for us because uh, uh, Calitra is, uh, is, is sort of a mad front uh, pacey front runner horse and runs straight as a die and it, when it comes to the crunch that horse will uh, will just keep just keep crunching on whereas uh, 
Kato the King is quite likely to uh, to bottle it in our view. So uh, at two two seven, uh, then the odds makers can go and take a run and jump on that. So uh, anyway, we're we're having a go at uh, number six in the uh, Wincanton 115. It's a, it's a qualifier as well, which is a, they're always interesting races. The trainers put uh, up and coming horses in those. Uh, and uh, Calyptra, uh, we've managed to get 7.6 to 1 uh, for the win and uh, basically evens on two places. So we'll see how that goes and hopefully uh, we'll do better than yesterday, which was uh, basically a jockey, uh, jockey shambles. Uh, but there you go. So um, let's, uh, let's take it from there then. So thanks for watching. Uh, we'll review it tomorrow uh, and uh, let's hope we get some better results today. So, goodbye.